guys, me, Andy J here, and today we are going to t um, learn how to make a shop GUI with um, buttons rather than like dialog. I previously taught people how to use it um, with the dialog in my port tutorials, and basically that is an efficient way of doing it. However, this is a more professional looking way, and I believe it's actually easier than um, uh, the other way. So basically, in my previous tutorial, you just walk up to it, um, click the button, um, and you just purchase it. However, this time, we are going to use buttons. So, without walking up with things, and you know. Yeah, and this time, there will be a cost, which means that there will be a currency system, and you would have to like get a certain amount of money in order to purchase the weapons. And it will stay inside your starter pack permanently, or until you leave the game. So, let's begin. Two models you're going to need to use are uh, New and Improved, Shop GUI, and the Money in KO's WO's Leaderboard, both made by someone named Jimmy Jamie, and I'm giving that person credit for designing these um, scripts, because I probably can't do it. And you're going to take it and move it into the Starter Pack folder. Now, once you take the Shop model and move it inside the Starter Pack folder, you're going to basically um, go into it, change the frame, and in here, this is all the buttons that give you weapons. I believe there's around 10. So, I'm going to go into button number 1. I'm using a weapon that I put in the lightning, and it ha the weapon or gear has to be in the lightning, and it's case sensitive, so if it has uppercases, you need to do that. And once you type in the name of the weapon, you can then type in the price, which is, I'm making 25. Now that I have that done, I'm just going to go in the button. You're going to list the price. Buy for, I'm making it 25. So, buy for 25. And then, in the one text, you're going to put the name of the item, which is M60. So, now that we have that, um, you can do all the buttons you want. It's not that hard. Just make sure the gears are in the lightning folder, and they have to be in there. No starter pack at all. So basically, after you've done all your buttons, to do a picture of basically the weapon, so you look at it before you buy it. You actually um uh, can go to your decals. You have to make a decal of the weapon, and you're going to have to um uh, put it in. Copy this ID down here in the properties folder and then you're going to paste it in the in the GUI image see there we go so you won't see the button yet and now you can um I'm going to also change the button of uh I even though I really like that shop logo I'm just teaching you how to change the main button all you got to do is you have to do the same thing with the decal I'm going to do the IRA logo in orange for some reason. I'm gonna copy this this ID here, move it down, image button, and delete the ID that's already there. Now I'm going to paste in the new ID so it becomes like that. Then all I have to do is resize it um, in the size thing. I'm making it 75 by 75 so it's a square. And there we go, that's our button. So, now that we have the button, I am going to um, um, delete all the other buttons for now. So, first one, delete the images. Now I want to delete, don't delete the close button on accident, by the way. Delete all the other buttons. And the do not edit thing, delete that, because all, all it's saying is that it is made by some, so and so, and I don't think you want that poisoning your GUI. So, that's basically the GUI um, thing you could do. And now I'm going to um, uh, move up and insert my scripts, my leaderboard scripts. I have a recent one. So I'm going to insert the leaderboard scripts. You're going to get this model. You're going to ungroup it. You have to ungroup it. Now, there's four scripts in the model. 
in Read Me First, it just teaches you how to, um, um you know, like, uh, make it so whenever you kill someone, you got a certain amount of money, and not to not change anything else. I'm not really going to mess with all that stuff. But one thing you should change, though, is um, here, basically, I'm trying to find it. I don't think this is the right script. Um, the right script either. Basically, in one of the scripts, I'm trying to find it, it shows you how much money you're going to start off with. Alright, right here. So it's in the money slash wo slash ko three board. I'm gonna change that to fifty. Actually wait no. Keep that zero, I'm sorry. Change the money value to fifty. Or um change it to whatever you want people to start off with. So if you want people to start off with a hundred money, then they start off with a hundred money. And so on. I'm doing 50 so I can actually buy the weapon when I first start off. Now, every time you kill someone, you get 50 um, uh, money, and it'll add up, and that's how people can save up for weapons and stuff. Now, um, I believe we're done. Don't cha I recommend not changing anything else, and let's test this baby out. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go play it. By the way, if you buy this fort from me, you, the shop GUI comes with it, so. Now, you notice uh, I only start off with torch and a sword. However, if I go to the shop, there's one thing I'm 60. I'll, I forgot to mention, you can easily shrink this down by just resizing it. This giant box here so it doesn't look like that. I do is buy for 25. Three. There it is. You can do this for swords, any type, any type of gear. There's the decal right there, and then there should be a close button somewhere. I can't really find the close button. It must be behind. Um, it must be behind these. But that I'm um, gonna reset. Show you that when you do reset, the um, the weapon stays in your inventory. Alright, so, three, there it is, right there. And you notice I've lost the amount of money that I've had originally. So, that is really it. I can't really teach how to do much more. Um, little mistake here, Just you can just easily resize this. Um, and I can't really find the close button. But I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere, I just keep, I just forgot where it is. So that's it guys, I'll see you later.